What's up guys, this is Andy from Andy's Playground. It's been a couple of days, um, but we're finally here at the phone interview. In about 30 minutes or so, my phone interview time slot starts, and I'm a little bit nervous. I wouldn't be lying. Um, the last time I did this was about two years ago, and I failed my phone interview because I wasn't prepared. Um, this time, I feel a lot more prepared. I have different things around me that have been really giving me a lot of hope. Right now, my Mac is on top of a book um, that's like the Maps book from Disney and stuff like that. I've gotten all kinds of different things up here that have just been really kind of keeping me company. I didn't sleep well last night. I went to bed around like 3 o'clock in the morning just because I was very anxious. But it was good because my phone interview is at 12.45. So it's 12.17 right now. So I was mainly just, just freaking out about it. I felt very sick to my stomach. Um, all these things are completely normal. Um, especially for me, I'm someone who typically like the day before, the night before something really cool happens or something really big in my life is going down, I'm feeling the most sick and the most like just out of it and I understand that that's just a fact of my life sometimes you guys might have feel similar for me it's just been just this constant wave of stress and constant wave of all these different things going on I'm still in college right now I'm taking some very hard classes this semester and so it's just been kind of a roller coaster of emotions <laughs> but here we are so I decided I didn't want to record the interview there are many people on YouTube that have recorded the interview itself, and I felt it best not to because number one, I'm already nervous enough about talking to someone on the phone from Disney. Number two, I'd be, I'm kind of already nervous about talking to people through cameras. It, it's just, I think for me, it, it'll be something where I have to, I have to feel it out. Um, I have with me some different documents and different questions that they might ask, and I've kind of prepared my, own, my own little answers for them. But for the most part, I'm going into this honest and with a positive face, um, wanting to make sure that I'm being real, but I'm also being honest and I'm being happy about what I'm doing. <laughs> they can tell um, when you're genuinely enthusiastic about this job and they want to see people that are genuinely enthusiastic. You hear all the time uh, that you should smile while you're on the phone. You should, you should do all these things and that's true, but you don't want to be fake um, at the same time. I think you should still be real. There, there definitely should be a real factor about that. Um, and honestly, like, <laughs> it, it really just depends on how well you've practiced on this. For me, my job has me working most days a week while I'm on the phone um, talking to people. And so I'm supposed to be positive in general. So that's really helped me um, prepare for this. Two years ago, I did not have that job. In fact, I've been working at this job for only about a year, a um, little over a year now. And so that's really helped me prepare for this moment. It, it's, it's, this is it. This is the last step. After this, it's just a waiting game. Um, and that's sometimes the hard part. That's sometimes um, the part that some people struggle with the most. Um, for me, I, I just want to get this part done. I don't care what happens next. Last time I botched this, and so I feel decently confident that this will be better. This is my third time doing this process, and I just want to make sure <laughs> that I don't mess this part up. Um, I've never gotten past this part before. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but most of all, I'm just happy to be here. And I'm just happy for the opportunity I have to be able to talk to someone from Disney and be able to, you know, list out my concerns, talk about the things there. It's gonna be okay. Really, it's gonna be okay. Um, I'm just kind of psyching myself out at this point. <laughs> um, so that being said, and this is a lot of an intro, I'm scared. I'm nervous, but I'm excited for the prospect of working for my dream company. And if I get in, and if I pass this interview, I know that I'd be a great cast member. So wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I'll uh, check back in with you guys after the interview and I'll let you know how everything went down. See you then. One hour later. Well, guys, I just had my phone interview. Um, it went great. I didn't panic. I didn't really break down or anything like that. I felt like I was myself. I felt that I still like laughed and I had fun with it and I still had like a good time and a good experience with the process. But I didn't feel like I panicked or anything like that. So I, I had a I had Maria as my recruiter. And Maria was really sweet. She was really awesome. And she asked me a lot of really good questions, especially regarding like character tenant attractions, things like that. She brought up a lot about one of my work references was was a, which was a student run company up here called the Lunchbox which was a food and beverage company. So I could tell that they were kind of leaning more towards that, which I'm fine with. I mean, honestly, 
my dream attraction to work for would be the Jungle Cruise or the Haunted Mansion. But like she even like referenced how like attractions also include like tram driver or the tramp the guy in the back with the radio. That would be a fun tr job actually. I think that I would have a lot of fun with that. Overall, I don't think I have any regrets. Um, I mentioned everything that I wanted to. I, I got to say everything that I wanted to. Um, I felt very confident. I felt like I didn't say anything too stupid. <laughs> of course, I'm probably gonna get like hindsight and like maybe about an hour or so. The whole interview thing lasted about 30 minutes for me. It was a long interview. It was really, it was really good. Um, I think it's mostly because I did a lot of talking. <laughs> she was kind of quiet. It was very hard to hear. And then about maybe two thirds of the way through, my roommate starts vacuuming. That wasn't really fun. I felt that the whole process was pretty good, um, and I felt like I didn't have much to complain about. I feel like I, I feel like it was a great experience. Some advice I have for you. Don't forget that these people are trained to talk to people and to calm them down. They've been doing this for years. Um, some of them have been doing it for a long time. The person I was talking to was like a mom, and she didn't even do the Disney College program, but she was very passionate about what she does, and I honestly, it was really cool to be able to talk to them. So don't forget to breathe. Don't forget that they're there for you too. And just trust the process. Trust the fact that you're going to be okay. Because <laughs> you are. You know, it's not like this big panic mode that needs to set in. Just trust the process and have fun. Um, you're talking to someone who works for Disney. That's cool. Ask them any questions that you have. I had two questions prepared. Um, number one was like, how do I possibly look into working as a recruiter? I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, number two was just like, did you have any magic moments? Very short and simple questions, even though they took like five minutes. <laughs> um, but like, she was really helpful. She was really friendly. I still dressed Disney appropriate, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens from here. Um, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for the possibility of working in such a capacity for the company. <sighs> she said that we'll find out in the next three weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to release another video until that point. I'm going to record every time that I check my um, status in the dashboard, but there should be a notification or something that pops up. Last time I did this, um, I felt really bad about it. And then that night, that night, I found out I was no longer in consideration. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but I'll keep you guys posted. The road of the DCP is pretty much over at this point because at this point it's all in Disney's hands whether or not they want me as a cast member or not. I've done all I can do. I've done everything I can do. Now the best opportunity is just to wait. We'll see you guys whenever whatever happens. We'll see you real soon. Thank you guys again for watching part four of The Road to the DCP. I don't know when I'll be finding out the results, but I'll be sure to post a video the day I do find out. Hopefully it will be soon and hopefully it will be worth it. Thank you guys for joining me on this process and for this process. I, I still don't really have any regrets about what I said or what happened during the interview. Maybe one misstep, if any. So just feel confident, guys, for your interviews. And let's all hope this works out for the best. We'll see you real soon, guys.